Uh, wait, oh, sorry, wait, wait a minute. Uh, ah, no. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, yes, please. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Uh, thank you for your introduction. And uh, thank you for this opportunity to present you today. Uh, I'm Hiroshi Ayasaka from AIST Japan. And today I, I will talk about uh, counterintuitive model in quantum manealing. And I will explain the general method to construct such a model. In this model, the uh, success probability of quantum manealing exponentially decreases uh, despite a constant energy gap. Uh, this, this talk is based on the result uh, obtained from the NEDO project. Uh, this is outline of this talk. First, uh, I will explain the introduction. Uh, as you know, uh, quantum annealing is metaheuristics of combinatorial optimization problem using quantum fluctuation. And quantum annealing has attracted much attention owing to the, its uh, variety of uh, application. Uh, for example, uh, quantum chemistry and uh, cryptography, or uh, and also the, the state of preparation of uh, many body quantum many body system. So, so uh, the very uh, very uh, promising method, and uh, the quantum annealing Hamiltonian, uh, we call QA Hamiltonian for short is given by this form. Uh, here, HP is problem Hamiltonian and HD is transverse magnetic field, uh, so called driver Hamiltonian. Uh, typically, HP is uh, represented as uh, Ising Hamiltonian. And the solution of pro problems of uh, such a combinatorial optimization problem can be embedded in a uh, ground state of uh, Ising Hamiltonian. And uh, if we prepare the initial state as a driver Hamiltonian, uh, uh, and we gradually decrease the strength of the trans transverse magnetic field, while we gradually increase uh, this Ising Hamiltonian, uh, if the adiabatic condition is satisfied, an initial state remains in, in its ground state of QA Hamiltonian. So uh, then we can obtain the solution of the uh, combinatorial optimization problem. However, in a hard problem, which means uh, typically uh, cr cr uh, crash, crash car com computer can cannot efficiently solve. Uh, in such a model, the first order phase transition typically occurs. For example, adiabatic global search. If the first order phase transition occurs, the energy gap becomes exponentially small. So it takes exponentially long time to satisfy the adiabatic condition because of the adiabatic condition uh, proportional to the inverse of uh, polynomial energy gap. So it is believed that the energy gap gives the computational complexity of quantum annealing. On the other hand, how is computational complexity related to the trans transition matrix? Transition matrix is a numerator of this adiabatic condition. Uh, in typical, typical Hamiltonian, the Hamiltonian represented as a L body local, local, local interaction Hamiltonian. So the transition matrix, so it is believed that the transition matrix is irrelevant for computational complexity. In this talk, we propose a systematic method to construct a counterintuitive models. In this model, quantum annealing with a constant annealing time fa fails 
despite a constant energy gap due to the transition matrix. Next, uh, we, we explain the general framework. First, uh, suppose that there is quantum uh, Curie Hamiltonian where the transition matrix scales as polynomial L and energy gap becomes exponentially small with increasing L. And uh, we consider the uh, penalty term given by this one. Here, uh, Kett and Burra denote the energy eigenstate of QA Hamiltonian. And the coefficient of CI has a role to fix the energy of a QA Hamiltonian. So if we consider this penalty term, so uh, even if we uh, even if the system has a exponential small energy gap, this penalty term makes th this gap to open. And this penalty term does not change the energy eigenstate, but change only change the energy eigenvalue. So here, let me consider the effect of penalty term for adiabatic condition. Adiabatic condition is represented as uh, like this form. And this uh, red, red part, red frame, it, it is invariant even if we consider this penalty term. Because this red part uh, only depends on the energy eigenstate. So if we add the penalty term to open the energy gap, the transition matrix exponentially increase. So uh, this table shows the main message of this talk. Uh, based on our general framework, uh, we, we, we investigate the uh, scaling of adiabatic condition in adiabatic global search. Adiabatic global search is a kind of va variant of uh, global algorithms. And adiabatic global search, uh, the problem Hamiltonian and driver Hamiltonian uh, are given by this one and this one. Here, uh, M, M is the desired state in some kind of the database, database which uh, express uh, it, with the number of the state is exponentially large. So, and we, we can analytically obtain the uh, QA Hamiltonian with this penalty term. And we, we can on, uh, also obtain the uh, scaling of adiabatic condition. And, uh, and this uh, matrix element at uh, t equal capital T over two uh, scales as order uh, two to L over two. So here, uh, energy gap is uh, con always constant because of this penalty term. So this result shows that the transition matrix uh, exponentially increase. And also uh, in the case with penalty term, the scaling of adiabatic condition uh, is small compared to the case without penalty term because of this, uh, this factor. Because this factor is uh, in the case with penalty term is constant, but uh, the case without penalty term is uh, proportional to this factor. So totally uh, the scaling becomes small in the case with penalty term. Next, <coughs> next uh, uh, we investigate the magnetization in adiabatic global search. Uh, uh, typically, uh, uh, quantum many body system often has have the gap, gap closing point due to the quantum phase transition. 
So uh, in the adiabatic global search, also the first order phase transition occurs. Uh, in, in our model, uh, in, in, the, in adiabatic global search with penalty term, the system is fully gapped. So we investigate whether a quantum phase transition exists or not. Uh, in order to investigate the uh, uh, quantum phase transition, we focused on the total magnetization as the order parameter. If the order parameter has discontinuity at a certain time in the third thermodynamic limit, the first order phase transition occurs. Uh, so we, we can analytically obtain the to, um, total magnetization given by this one. And we take uh, first, uh, we take, uh, take thermodynamic limit and we take the limit from negative direction and positive direction to T equal capital T over two. So this result shows that the magnetization has discontinuity. And also this result showed that the system with penalty term does not circumvent the quantum phase transition. Next, uh, we, 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 we perform numerical analysis to, to investigate the effect of transition matrix for the performance of quantum annealing. The, this figure in, on the left side is the case without penalty term, and the right side is the case with penalty term. This figure shows that the energy spectrum and the bottom, bottom figure shows that fidelity. Here, fidelity is defined as the inner product of the uh, Schrodinger dynamics and uh, bit, uh, exact diagonalization of Q, uh, QA Hamiltonian. So uh, this, this figure shows that the fidelity uh, exponentially uh, decrease as uh, increase the uh, system size at t equal to the cap, uh, capital T over two. Uh, th this, point, this point has the quantum phase transition in adevat global search. Uh, and however, uh, in the case with penalty term, energy spectrum is always constant, but the fidelity also exponentially decrease as increasing the system size. And we, we, sh we investigate the scaling of the, this decreasing. Uh, we, we brought the fidelity. As, as you can see that the fidelity in the case, uh, bo both case, the fidelity uh, exponentially decrease, but in the case, uh, with penalty term, this decrease is some uh, small. So this this behavior is consistent with our general framework and uh, analytical calculation. Next, uh, as a second example, we investigate the ferromagnetic p-spin model, uh, problem Hamiltonian and driver Hamiltonian for p spin model is uh, given by this form. And uh, p spin model has a uh, first order phase transition if p, p is greater than three. And so we set p equal to five. And the left side is a case with a penalty term and right side is a case with penalty term. And this figure shows that Oh, also, uh, sim similar with uh, gro adiabatic global search, the fidelity uh, also decreases at this uh, gap closing point. Uh, on the other hand, in the case with penalty term, the uh, energy eigenvalue is always constant, but also the fidelity uh, de 
degrees at at the same point in the case with uh, the penalty term. And uh, this figure shows that the scaling of energy gap and uh, fidelity. So as you can see that uh, the, the uh, this behavior is also consistent with our general framework. Uh, this is summary. Uh, we propose a general framework to construct a counterintuitive models where countermaneuvering with a constant annealing time fails despite a constant energy gap. Uh, as an example, we studied uh, the other adiabatic global search and the ferromagnetic p-spin model. In, in this model, the transition matrix becomes exponentially large and the magnetization has discontinuity, namely first order phase transition occurs. Also, the energy gap is always constant in quantum manuring. And and the success probability exponentially decay due to the exponential increase of the transition matrix. Uh, this, this talk was based on the results obtained from the, uh, this project. Thank you for your attention. That's all. Okay, thank you very much for your uh, interesting talks. So now time is for the discussion, the comment and the question. So, any question or comment? Actually, I'm a stakeholder or collaborator of these research, so they, I do not want to ask a question and comment. So question and comment are very welcome. So any question or comment? Okay, anyway, I, I, I I would like to ask a question. And uh, you showed some example to show the uh, very counterintuitive uh, behavior uh, with gapped system, but they have a kind of the, you know, the uh, very small success probability. It's quite interesting. So the, you showed the two examples, one is the uh, adiabatic global search and the other is the PSP model. And uh, yeah. actually, I'd like to know some uh, robustness with your result. I mean, that uh, for instance, the, if we want to solve some combinatorial optimization problem in the real world, we usually would have the uh, random spin grass type, I mean, using Hamiltonian. In this case, the, this kind of the uh, interesting uh, thing will happen or not. It's, do you have some any uh, uh, answer? Uh... Uh, yes, uh, you, you, you mean class types, the uh, Ising model cases? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, because uh, this uh, mm. this method to can can be applied to the uh, general case because th this method use using only using the uh, energy eigenstate. Uh, so. I mean, I can I can implement this method to new numerically, but in in the realistic situation, so some kind of experiment, I, I it may be able I it, it it can't can't I I, I think. It, it can't implement on re realistic situation. I would say the, the, our, our method uh, can be applied, nu numerically can be applied to the, uh, so theoretically you, you use our method. Uh, you mean that in realistic cases? Yeah, uh, uh, so I, Covering a salesman program or uh, uh, yes, graph covering program or something. In this case, the some for some instance we can have such kind of situation, right? Possibility to have this kind uh, of okay. That to to have the high success probability, we all many of people believe that we have to open the gap, right? 
Yes, you are right. And, and, uh, so many people make a lot of effort to open the gap, actually. So right, yes. you know, stochastic Hamiltonian or random uh, transfer field, something, and so on and so forth. And uh, But even in such cases, so the, we um, sometimes the accidentally, we, there is a possibility to have this kind of the uh, uh, serious situation, right? You mean that there? Sorry, sorry. The, okay, even we have the very we, if even we open the gap. Yes. Using some technique. Yes, yes, yes. Must come with something. Like that. Uh, yeah. uh, even yeah. in this case, we can have this some uh, uh, small success probability for some cases, right? Based on uh, some some cases. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Yes. Uh huh. And uh, you, uh, you uh, some some kind of uh, our 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 technique. Uh, so mm. I mean that. So you you uh, if we, if you want to uh, increase the success probability, but our uh, some some uh, so our method like which 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 uh, not not change the energy eigen state, but only change the energy eigen value. Mm -hmm. such, such 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 method is uh, fail. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any question or comment? We still have eight minutes, so yeah, we can accept. I can accept many questions from the audience. So, any question or comment? Mm -hmm. uh, excuse me, ah, okay. I, I... Say, yes. Yes. Uh, yes. I have a question. I wonder why the phase quantum phase transition occurs even though the energy gap is constant. Uh, How can we understand the situation? Because in our, in our method, the energy eigenstate is same as the original Hamiltonian. So uh, all, all the parameter only depends on the energy eigenstate. And our method does not change the energy eigenstate of original Hamiltonian. So th 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 this, th this expression, it, it does not change by uh, adding the, our penalty term and sa same as the original Hamiltonian. So, which means that the so if if even if even if the system has fully gapped, the phase transition occurs in in this case. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good. That's okay. Yes, a question or comment? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, please. Yes, good. Uh, please uh, what do you mean by revisiting the adiabatic condition here? Uh, I, I mean, because uh, the many people think, I uh, believe that the comp computational complexity related to the energy gap, but our message is, our message is to uh, need to pay the attention of to transition matrix, also transition matrix in adiabatic condition. So, uh, so yes, I, I, this title is like uh, revisit. Uh, okay, so this means that okay, we shouldn't just look at the gap. Maybe we should look at the more rigorous band, like Jensen's band for adiabatic condition, right? Uh, so, sorry. Uh, sorry uh, so about... this means that just considering the gap is not okay. We should look at the more rigorous adiabatic condition band, like Jensen's bands, which has the derivatives of Hamiltonian and also cubic terms in the gap in the denominator divided by it. So. Meaning that they're approximate versions of adiabatic. Ah, yeah. Right, right, right. Yes, yes. Okay.
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, any other question or comment? Hmm. Okay, so if not, so let's thanks to the uh, uh, Hiroshi again. Okay, thank you very much for a very interesting talk. So Shanice, do you have any uh, uh, announcement? For um, yes, yeah, so, no? so we, no, not really any an announcement, but our next seminar will be next week. And next week, yes. Day, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I will send out an email reminding everyone about it. Okay. So, okay, let's close the Inca seminar. Okay. Thank you very much. So, see you next. Bye.